Welcome to the Canadian Team Mathematics Contest. No calculators are allowed during the team event. During the individual and relay events, calculators are permitted with the following restriction. You may not use a device that has internet access, that can communicate with other devices, or that contains previously stored information. For example, you may not use a smartphone or a tablet. Students may use paper dictionaries for translation between English and another language. Students may not use electronic translation devices. During the team and individual events, please ensure that all answer sheets are filled in with names. The individual answer sheets are labeled with competitor letters from G to K. Please note your assigned letter to help identify your results. During the relay event, when instructed, Coaches distribute the appropriate relay questions face down according to each student's number. Students in seats 1A, 1B, 2A, and 2B get a booklet of tear-off sheets. Students in seats 1C and 2C get an answer form, and note whether you're on relay team 1 or 2. As students complete their questions, they will pass their tear-off sheet as follows. From seat 1A to seat 1B to seat 1C, and from seat 2A to 2B to 2C. Students in seats A and B should pass only their final answer, not their calculations. Students in seats B or C can begin working on their questions, but will need an answer from the previous student before they can complete the question. The acronym TNYWR, the number you will receive, indicates the answer from the previous student. For example, here's a past relay problem zero from seat 2C. It begins with, let T be the number you will receive. The student is asked to find the intersection point of two lines. The student can begin working on the intersection of the lines, but will need the value of T in order to complete the question. Students may not pass the answer sheet backwards from B to A or from C to B. They must accept and work with the answer they receive. But if students 1A, 1B, 2A, or 2B to discover an error in their own work, they can calculate a new answer and pass it along. At the four minute mark, the coach should initial the answer given in the early answer box on both answer forms, 1C and 2C. If no answer was written, the coach should strike through the early answer box. After the four minute mark, a student in seat C may mark only the final answer box. After eight minutes, the coach will collect the completed answer sheets from students 1C and 2C. For each of seats 1C and 2C, scores are as follows according to whether the answer in each box is correct, incorrect, or blank. No part marks are awarded for the answers from seats A or B. Relay Zero is a practice run that will not be scored. It's a chance to try the logistics of the relay. It can be run giving two minutes for the early answer and one more minute until the final answer mark. Good luck with the contest and enjoy yourselves.